going to be showing you what is inside my school bag or my backpack for 2014-2015 school year. So let's get started. I'm going to show you guys what's inside. This bag is a Herschel backpack and it is the gray color and I will definitely link to it down below. I believe it was $70 but it is such a high quality backpack. I like throw these bags around like I'll literally hop in my car and throw it in the trunk and I don't want it to get all like gross and stuff and it's in really great condition considering and I like how the bottom is like a leathery material opening it up and right on the inside as soon as you open it up it just has red and white lining and we'll get into like the pencil pouch and all that stuff later but it does have a little spot with some padding for a laptop or an iPad. So let's get started with everything that's in my bag. Before I show you guys what's in here, I wanted to say that I don't have any homework tonight, so I don't have any binders, notebooks, etc. All that stuff is in my locker at school. Yes, I do go to classes and um, I do learn, but tonight I don't have any of those things with me. Thing that I have is just a folder. This is just like from the University of Georgia. A lot of my classes, I'll get a single worksheet for homework, and I don't see the purpose in bringing home a whole binder and notebook if I only get a worksheet for homework. So I'll just put all of my homework or like current projects or anything miscellaneous that needs to find its way back in this folder, and I always carry it around. Next, I have my Lily Pulitzer agenda. This is my holy grail thing. Like if I could have one thing in my backpack, this would probably be it. It literally organizes my whole life, keeps me on track. Oh, God bless your soul. Put this monogram sticker from Etsy on. Um, it's just like one of those ones where you peel it on, like rub it, and then you like take it off. I just have some stickers, vineyard vines, and southern marsh. I love this pattern though, and if you guys don't have an agenda yet, you definitely should. And I will link down below where you can get a Lily Pulitzer agenda for 10% off as well as some other cool office supplies that I'll be showing you in a little bit. They are really great. They keep everything together for you. And who doesn't love having a fun agenda? I'll show you what mine looks like on the inside. I have a whole separate video if you're interested in seeing how I organize my agenda. I will also link that down below. Next, I have a snack because it is important to keep yourself full. This is a Kind Bar and it's the dark chocolate mocha almond flavor. I'm allergic to peanuts which eliminates a lot of my options for the Kind Bars, but this is one that doesn't contain any peanuts. It only has almonds. Delicious and it's 200 calories and I'm a busy high school student so if I don't have time to eat that day I just always try to have something because it's I don't know, like I get hungry and stuff and this is just good to munch on in class. Next, I have my Ted Baker pencil case. I was inspired to get this from my friend Danielle, the makeup by Danielle, Danielle Marie, whatever you wanna call her. She had this and I needed a pencil case so I took her word for it and I got it. It's a really nice size too, it's very slim and um, I like it, I bought it off Amazon. And in here I just have all of my pens. I have all pens and pencils and lip glosses because I'm a girl. I have a bunch of colored pens. I find myself reaching for these more than you would think. They're code things. And then I have some mechanical pencils. I have some Lily Pulitzer pencils, which I always use. These are from officecandy.com. Once again, this is the website where you can get 10% off. So I would highly recommend it. Colored highlighters. And I have some extra pens. These are my favorite pens. They're the Bic Ultra Round Stick Grip. And in the bottom of this pencil case, stuff that isn't pens, I just have a little perfume sampler of Marc Jacobs Daisy. I use this every day. And if I ever need to like refresh myself, I carry this. It's a whiteout pen. I like these better than the actual like liquid whiteout because that like spills all over my bag and stuff. I just USB flash drive because my school, we're not very like high tech or anything, but I like to carry this around if I'm working on a project in school so I can bring it home to my computer. Okay, the next thing that I have in here, is, it's so weird. This is such like a my school thing. I feel like other schools don't do this. I have my senior pictures. I carry the box around with me in school because um, I've been like trading a lot with my friends recently. This is in my school is when you're a senior, you take like these really fancy, expensive, they're really expensive for no reason, but you take these pictures and like you get all ready and dressed up and stuff. And this is like my yearbook picture, but I like to give them out to my friends and they give me theirs. So it's like good memories. And um, this is mine. Uh -huh. I have my calculator. This is required for my school. You have to have a calculator because you need it for math class, of course. So it's the TI-84+. plus. I feel like every single high school student in the country has this calculator. For some techie things, 
three pairs of headphones. I do not know why I have three. I know for a fact these are broken, so I could probably just throw those out. And these are just the typical iPhone headphones, and these are the in-ear ones in case I like go to the gym or something after school. And I have a portable iPhone charger because my phone is the iPhone 5. It dies probably within five hours, so I always need to use this, and I always make sure it's charged. This is the RAV Power, and it is so small and convenient to take with you. It is not like your traditional one, like this one, and I really like it. Very small and convenient. Your USB plugs right into it, and you plug it into your phone. And then it just charges, and this will hold for like up to three chargers, so it's pretty good. Really small and not heavy at all. Wow, I just run. Final thing in this huge pouch would be my car keys slash lanyard slash extravaganza. School requires you to carry your student ID around with you, so attached to my whole lanyard thing that I'll get to in a second, I have my student ID with a Lily Pulitzer lanyard from Etsy. I want to see a horrendous photo. Oh my god, I literally can't even. And for the wrist lit portion, wrist lit portion is a Lily Pulitzer carded ID holder. It was under $40. I got it from Lily Pulitzer website. Opens right up and I have my cash, my cards, my Starbucks gold card cuz I'm a white girl. All that stuff is right in there. Side pouch, I have my business card. And then I just have attached that my car keys, my house key, this cute LL Bean um, bean boot keychain. I got this in the Freeport main store. And I have uh, the keys to the shop that I work at so I can open and close. And I love this little pouch up here that is right at the tippy top. It's very small. And inside here I keep gum. This is my least favorite kind of gum, but I just wanted to use it because my mom bought it and I felt bad. Just Orbit Spearmint. Oh, I only like Orbit Bubble Mint, but I'm trying to get past it. Then I have my Trader Joe's Green Tea Infused Mints. If you have not tried these, you're literally not living your life correctly. These are my favorite mints ever. They're highly, highly addicting and they taste, oh, they're just literally heaven on earth. I could go through like multiple packs a week. I have some hand sanitizer. I don't know why, but this year I've become like a germaphobe and I need to hand sanitize everything. So I just use this Florida Gators hand sanitizer. I have another steel lip glaze and more pens and pencils. And then in the bottom of here, I have two EOS lip balms. These are just like cute little chapsticks. This one, I don't even know what flavor it is. It's like some kind of strawberry, I'm pretty sure. And then this one is mint, but they're like the new like coconut ones. They're really pretty. They look like I have a whole separate video on EOS lip bumps that is really, really popular for some unknown reason. So I'll link that down below if you're interested. That's it for what's in my backpack. I don't really have anything too interesting or whatever. Maybe I do. I don't know. Let me know if you don't carry around any of these things. I think they're kind of essential. That's what's in my school bag. I try to keep it nice and simple. If I have class that day, which I always have class, I will just put my binder or my notebook in here or I'll maybe hold. I, I like to hold my binder. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to check out my last videos. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.